Hey everyone, this is Kevin, the Entrepreneur. So, um, I guess just to give you a little bit of a heads up in case you've noticed the updates have kind of been a little sparse. Uh, I'm not feeling very well right now, so I don't know what videos are going to look like for the next couple days. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't got the bell checked next to the subscribe button, check that so that you'll know when my next video is just in case I decide to take a couple days off. But uh, Henry was nice enough to send me this on Twitter, and I figured I could at the very least come on this to try to get daily videos out. And this is an email that Uber sending people, and it says, skip the queue after a short airport trip. Have you ever waited at the airport only to get a trip that didn't pay off? We know it can be frustrating, so we're improving the airport experience to help you get the most out of your time. Oh man, I I, I so want to say, you know, you could raise the rate so that like the minimum fare pays a lot better, but I know they don't care. So let's just continue this. Um, anyway, now if you get a short distance trip from your city's airport, we'll hold your spot in the queue so you can return to the same airport and get another trip quickly. If a trip is eligible for short trip protection, we'll let you know in the app before you accept the trip, which is uh, <laughs> okay. So um, it says short, and as you can see, it says short trip will hold your spot for the next six hours. So it says to be eligible for short trip protection, you must be waiting in the airport queue for at least 15 minutes. Short trip protection is valid for six hours at the same airport and remains in place even if you go offline or do other trips before returning to the airport's queue. Airport short trip protection distance radius is subject to change. Now, um, what's interesting about this is I uh, don't object to it per se. It's uh, not definitely not the worst thing they've ever done. Um, could be useful. As I watch, look at this, though, I'm kind of wondering why they're doing it, and I definitely think this uh, may have a lot to do with the Lyft driver who dropped the pilot off at the airport. Now, you might be asking why that's the case. I mean, first of all, that wasn't Uber, that was Lyft, and, you know, so what, you know, what was the problem there? I mean, because the guy didn't want to go to the airport. Well, here's the thing, um, that one of the guy's problems, if the pilot is to be believed, and there's some holes in his story to be certain, uh, he had just, this guy had just like went to the airport, spent a long time trying to get out of it, uh, couldn't do it. So couldn't get a trip out of the airport. So he just left only to get the, the ride back to the airport. So I think this is Uber looking at that situation and realizing that there's two things they could do to maybe avoid a similar situation like this because clearly the drivers are getting pissed off enough to leave passengers in the parking lot. They don't want this to happen to them. And their solutions are they can either raise the rate so that it's more fair or, hey, you know what, let's let them stay in the airport queue just in case that airport port ride isn't very far they don't have to lose their spot and get in it all over again and this would also by the way solve the solution of people who sometimes wait like 30 40 minutes in the airport queue only to get a ride that's across the street at the marriott that's right there and then they have to wait another 40 minutes for another ride uh so well let's see here we're not gonna raise the rate so yeah we're gonna do that and I think that's what this is. Now, again, I, I'm not objecting to it. This isn't a bad thing per se. Raising the rates would be a lot better. But my question is, how many more Band-Aids can Uber put on this wound? It's pretty clear that the drivers aren't happy. It's pretty clear that the app unveil was not only pointless, but now we're getting the features that might actually make the driving experience better. Take note, Uber. <laughs> when we watched the app unveiling, if we absolutely had 
to get nothing but a new app. We wanted a lot more of a compelling reason to have a new app other than you no longer have to swipe, you just have to tap. But an emergency call feature, well, that's a feature we can get behind. Uh, holding our position in the airport queue, well, that's a feature we would definitely like to have. Uber is announcing the features in the app that's going to make the app more pleasant after they did the presentation. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, not that I'm... <sighs> Not that I really expect Uber to make a whole lot of sense these days. <laughs> I kind of expect them to do dumb things like this. So, um, anyway, I guess this is where we have to leave it. There's, I'm, I'm dragging out this announcement way longer than it needs to. So, uh, you know, folks, what do you think about this? Um, does it make you happy? Do you care at all? Has the airport queue ever been a problem for you? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. Click the bell next to subscribe so that you can get notifications for a new video scope. I normally don't say that, but something tells me this is going to be a rough week, so to get notified of my videos, now might be the time to do that. And if you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a Patreon member for as little as $1 a month. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.